Climate change law and introduction is a primer that provides readers with an overview of the court controversies and legal issues undergirding them with respect to our transition to an economy that produces fewer greenhouse gas emissions and even sequesters carbon from the atmosphere. In short, it's a way for anyone who is motivated and interested to become engaged on the issue of climate change and emissions reductions to enter that world in a knowledgeable fashion. At its core, climate change law and introduction is designed to leave the reader fluent in the core concepts, terms, and principles of the law of climate change. That fluency in the climate change challenge, law, and policy is one of the most important obligations of citizenship today. Since I started teaching a seminar on the law of climate change in 2007, the law related to climate change has grown more complex and more diverse. When I came to Pace Law School, I realized we had a group of faculty who were working in depth on different facets of the climate change problem. That created an opportunity to bring everyone together to collaborate and to share their expertise with those interested to come up to speed on all of the important facets of the climate change issue. I was excited to be able to invite Shelby Green, my colleague who has deep expertise on how local and state laws can be used to require mitigation to join us in this project. I was also excited to be able to turn to my colleagues in the energy sector, Carl Rabago and Radina Velova, to provide a basic background for readers on how our energy, the way we produce it, and the laws that govern that production drive greenhouse gas emissions in the United States and what reforms are possible. My colleague Smita Narula has deep expertise in human rights law and has been focused on how we might think about using human rights law as we mitigate climate change and my colleague Carl Copeland is an expert at the Clean Air Act and knows more than anyone I know about how we might be able to use existing authority under the Clean Air Act to require reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. And I myself have been focused on common law tort lawsuits and other actions in courts designed to require entities that emit fossil fuels or governments to take additional action to address climate change, pulling us all together since we were already colleagues, was a wonderful opportunity to create a text that would cover all of the important aspects of the climate change challenge. More and more people who may not be specifically trained in environmental law or climate change law are recognizing that climate change is the most pressing issue of our time for us and for our children and are interested to get involved and contribute to climate change mitigation. As a result, many characterize our current time as an all-hands-on-deck moment, and this textbook or this book is designed to help bring everyone on deck and help everyone recognize what the key challenges are to achieving climate change mitigation so that they can understand how they may be able to contribute best. This book is designed for policymakers who are working on climate change law and policy and may never have gone to law school. To those who went to law school but never took an environmental course or never took a climate change law course but are interested to engage on the issue. We invite you to join us as we all work to reorient our society to reduce emissions and sequester carbon from the atmosphere and hopefully maintain a planet that's habitable for us all.